Hi, I'm Silvina Barbosa. I'm a sugar artist and my specialty is modeling. And this time I'm gonna show you how to create a beautiful baby giraffe with isomod. Okay, I started, I created this color with uh, using the white uh, isomo from Cake Play, mixing it with a little food coloring, color yellow. So that's how you get this beautiful color. And what I did is I warm it up until I got this kneading consistency. It's still hot, so protect your hands. But this is the consistency that we need to start modeling. So the first thing that, that we're gonna do is the body. I'm gonna use the scissors to cut the piece. In this case, it's not gonna be that big. And it's not different. Modeling with isomal is not so, uh, so different from modeling with gum paste or fondant. So the only thing is that you have to be careful because it's hard and be patient. So what are we gonna do is make a little ball, then shape an oval to create the body. This baby giraffe is gonna be sitting down so the body is gonna be like an egg shape. It doesn't need too much work. And we are gonna cool it with the fan until it's completely cool. Okay, now that, that the body is cool, we are gonna set it aside and we are gonna continue modeling the legs. We are gonna cut another little piece Again, shape as a ball. When we have the ball, I'm gonna make the teardrop shape, the famous teardrop shape for all the legs of the animals, and that's gonna be my back leg. And before it cools completely, I'm gonna attach it with the torch. Warm up a little bit the body. and attach the leg. If you have the seam here, it's okay for now. We are only shaping the main body, the main parts. We can uh, erase the seams later with the torch. Okay, now we are gonna work in the second leg. Again, we are gonna cut a piece, make a little ball, and then the teardrop. We have to work fast with ice mold because it gets cool fast. So now we have the shape and we are gonna stretch a little bit to make the other leg. Now I'm gonna attach. And before it gets completely cold, I'm gonna bend it to the back. Like I said, if you have the seams, it's okay. We are gonna erase the seams with the torch. And with some of the tools, these are dental tools, um, the stainless steel, so these are good to make impressions or smooth the isomoc when it's warm. Now I'm gonna make the bottom part of the leg. For that I'm gonna use a black isomoc that I already warm up and knead it to the right consistency. So I'm gonna cut a little piece, not too big, make a little ball, and then shape it as a cylinder. If it gets too long, I'm gonna cut the excess. So we are gonna attach that to the leg. Warming up a little on the end. And there you have it. Now, while we wait that for that to cool down, we are gonna shape the front legs. So I'm gonna cut a little piece smaller than the ones for the back. Make a little ball. I think it's gonna be smaller than this. And I'm gonna make like a, 
a little cylinder and with one of the tools I want to shape it like a half heart shape right here in the center. I'm going to flatten it down a little to the bottom like this and on the side I'm going to mark half of the leg because it's like it's going to be in this position in both sides and now it's ready. Just like the back part, the back leg, we are going to shape a little cone, cut the excess, flatten the end, and we are going to attach that to the front leg. If it's still too big, just cut the piece. Warm up the front leg. and attach the part. If it's not perfect, don't worry, we can fix it. That's what are we gonna do now. Try to fix it. Warm it up a little bit. Use the tool to shape it. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna work on the neck. And what I'm going to do is find the perfect and smooth spot. I'm going to cut a piece. And just roll it and stretch it at the same time. So you're going to have a long sausage and measure it. If it's too long, just cut the excess. excess. Make sure that the ends are flat, so when we attach it, it's going to be fine. And let it cool down. Okay, now I'm going to work on the head. This is a baby giraffe, so the ball that I'm going to make is small. So I'm going to shape it, make a little cone shape or teardrop, not too long. This is going to be the nose, and you can shape the little holes for the eyes. Try to make it round and not to lose the shape. Remember, this is just like modeling or working with gum paste. You have to be patient and careful because it loses the shape very easily. Okay, when we're happy with the shape, we cool it down. Now I'm going to make the little antlers. Stretch one piece. and try to make it even and cut when I have it at the same size and I'm happy with it I'm just going to cut it in half just two little sausages ok now I'm going to work in the little ears and this is very easy and simple just pull a little part of the sugar and cut it like a triangle shape and shape it right on the center and if it's too long just cut the excess and we have one ear if you're not happy with the shape that it came out just keep doing it and do it again okay, now we are going to attach all the parts that are already cool so we're going to get ready with the torch. 
Measure first where the neck is going to go. Warm up both ends. Be careful and attach it gently. We are going to let it cool a little bit with the fan. Now we are going to attach the head. The same thing. Warm up both ends, not too much. Make sure it's secure. And start cooling it down. Now, we are gonna do the antlers. Just a little bit because it's so thin that we don't want it to melt completely. Then the next one. Pull it down. Okay, for the next step, attaching the ears, because it's such a small surface and delicate, we are going to use a pen torch. It's small. You have to be careful and not move it, move it too fast because the flame goes off. So warm up. Both surfaces. Attach one ear. Then the second one. And cool it down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna smooth all the surfaces now with the pen torch. Just be gentle and don't, don't go over the same surface for too long because it's gonna melt too much. We just wanna get rid of the marks and don't be afraid to come back and do it again. Just don't overdo it. And in case have your fan always next to you to cool the surfaces that you already touched. Okay, now using a little black, I created with the uh, isomalt a little sausage to help me paint with the isomalt. So what I'm gonna do is melt it a little bit and wait until it's very liquid and make the eye. Now I'm gonna cool it down. And now I'm gonna go Try to keep like a pointy end edge or a pointy end on the isomal. That's going to make it easier. Warm it up again. Not too much. Go to the other empty space. And create the eye. Don't worry about this. When it cools, you can just take it out. We have the other eye. We're going to cool it down. And I'm going to make, make the little nose. Same thing. Try to make it pointy. Warm it up. Little that and tip. 
carefully done. Now I make red for the same thing. Maybe we can use and make a little tongue. Create the tongue. Pull it down. And now I have the bronze. I made another stick. And I'm going to use the bronze to use to make the spots on the little giraffe. Don't melt it too much. Don't worry, it, it's going to come out. Make the little spots. When it cools down, all those little blemishes can be taken out. Okay, this is how it's, when it's finished, you make the different spots in different places. Add a little tail with black, the face, the eyes, a little tongue. Now we are gonna attach the little baby giraffe in a cake. I prepared this uh, kind of uh, poncing, so, you can do this with different animals. Just have fun and try. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't come out perfect the first time. Remember that it's all about trying and having fun. So warm up both sides. And attach it. Just be very gentle. And voila, there you have it. Baby giraffe in a pond. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>